Uh, well, this particular device is passing your valve. This is speaking valve. It's a one-way valve that we're going to apply in line on your ventilator circuit, and it will help you be able to get your voice back. Is that good? All right. I'm going to get a beginning set of vitals on you. Okay. I need to know what your respiration rate is and what your heart rate is and what your saturation rate is. So you want to monitor that pre and post. Make sure everything's going okay. okay. And then I'm going to section you before I deflate your cup, okay? Just to make sure there isn't any secretion flame underneath the cup. And then again, I'm going to find out when I drop that cup, there may be some secretions that have pooled on top of your cup that may slide by. You may feel them slide down and you may need to cough, right? And that's all natural. So I'm just going to attach this on here. Have that set ready to go. Okay, I'm just going to go straight through your port as you requested. And on the count of three, I'd like to try to get a good cough. One, two, three. Hmm, not much there. Done great. Must have been sectioned recently. <laughs> Linda, your vent settings are. We have a tidal volume of 750 milliliters, which the doctor ordered. Your rate is at 12. Your PIP now, before we drop your PEP, is at 15.3. It's a little bit variable. Here we have 16.4. Depends on what I'm looking on the scale. You have no PEEP, according to your doctor's recommendations. I'm going to drop your PEP. I would like you to let me know if you need to be section down, okay? There we go. Slowly at first, you want to make sure that we get that volume of air out so that it's not a sudden rush and cause any spasms or freak you out or anything like that. Okay. And sometimes this takes a while just so that you can get used to it. Oh, hi, I hear something. You have a voice. Oh, well that tells me, and by watching your ventilator, there's been some changes as far as your tidal volume is going, and your cut pressures, which tells me that you are actually moving air up your trachea and out through your nose and mouth, going around your trach. All right, Linda, when we are ready to put this valve in, I am going to have to make some adjustments to your vent and to your circuit here. This is the valve that we're going to use. It's an aquamarine in color, and it's meant especially to go into ventilator tubing. It just fits right in. Okay, should we try it? Are you ready? Okay, here we go. I'm going to take out this one and place this valve in. And there we go. The first couple breaths might feel a little different because your soft, whispery voice may now disappear. Mm -hmm. You're actually going to find some strength. A lot more. A lot more. Your voice is a lot clearer. Yes. Is that correct? It is. It, it is. It's much stronger. Are you able to swallow? Yeah. Is there any discomfort while swallowing? No. No? No. You feel like you can clear the back of your throat? Would you try for me? <laughs> yeah, it works. It works? Much easier. With the valve in line, you are now, our vent's showing that your tidal volume is 745, which is only 5 milliliters mm -hmm. less than what it's supposed to be. And your rate, of course, is 12 because that's what it's set at. Before, when we started, your peak inspiratory pressure, or your PIP as we call it, was set at about 16. And you are now at like 12.5. 12.7. Now, technically, I could change your tidal volume on your ventilator to make sure you had the same pit pressure that we had before. Natural leak about four. It's a little bit. If your saturations are staying the same and you're having good gas exchange, 
we could leave it where it's at, but if you, we needed to, we could increase your pit pressure, which I'm going to do here and show you the difference, okay? Mm -hmm. Just because we're getting that tidal volume, it's kind of varying between... But that's not the XL tidal line. No, these are, these are inspiratory. It's kind of varying on your inspiratory level that's going in, so I'm just going to change this if that's okay with you and try to increase your tidal volume a little bit to make sure we get the same pit pressure, because that's where it's really important, is that we want to have that same lung expansion, okay? So we go in here and modify it. I'm going to increase by five. There's 10, I'm going to see how that is. See if we have any change. Well, the pit just went up 1.4. Nice, and so at 13.2. 13.4. We're not quite there, so I'm going to modify it a little more, okay? Okay. Thank you for your cooperation with us. I'm just going to increase it by 10 again. We'll see how this does. Still always have that leak, so sometimes... Well, I'm getting to 13.8. 14.3 on your... Inspiratory pressure now. We're getting closer. 16.2. Maybe we're there. 15.2. 14.1. Is it coming out your nose? Possibly. Possibly. I'll try just a little more. Are you willing to do that? Increase just a little sure. more? Go by another time. We don't want to go down. We want to go up. See? Can you cough for me? Or try? Well, with your cough, it went up. It's still sitting. Right yeah. up to 15, and now it's there's 15.5. That's close. It's been 5.5 oh, on so centimeters of water pressure. That's a half a centimeter. Would it go up with you and, and swallow as well? Yes, it would. In fact, while you're talking, it's actually going up some because you're oh. creating a back pressure, sure. basically, and the ventilator is reading that pressure as well. Do you feel comfortable? So I can go to karaoke? You can go to karaoke and you can sing out your heart's content. Oh. I'm sure. You might even get in a barbershop quartet if you wanted to. It's been a long time. Yep. Can you harmonize, you think? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Sounds good. Well, I would make a recommendation to the doctor that maybe we increase your tidal volume just to make sure to that about 30 mils so that we kind of overcome and keep your lungs open. We don't want any of that little closing going on in your lungs down in the bases. Okay.